In this video, we're going to graph three ordered triples in three-dimensional space. So first of all, we're going to draw our three-dimensional coordinate system, often referred to as R3, 3D space. The axis that's coming straight out at us is the positive x-axis. The one to the right is the positive y-axis, and then the vertical axis is the positive z-axis. To the left here, we're going to have the negative y-axis. Going back into the screen is the negative x-axis, and then coming down is negative z. So what we're looking at is the positive, positive, positive first octant in R3 or in three-dimensional space. So our ordered triples are going to be of the form where the first value is the x-coordinate, the second value is the y-coordinate, and the third is the z-coordinate. So for part A, we're going to plot 2, 3, positive 1. So we're going to come positive 2 in the direction of x, so this will take us to 1, 2 in the direction of x, and then from there we're going to go 3 units in the direction of y. So we're going to come across the floor here, basically 3 units looking like this. Sometimes it's easier to graph a little box here in the floor to help us see that corner that we're going to rise up from, and we're going to go up 1 unit in the direction of z, which is going to give us an ordered triple floating up here in this first octant labeling it with 2, 3, 1. So this is A. And now for part B, we're looking at the ordered triple negative 3, 0, negative 1. So let's do this one in red. We're going to go negative 3 units in the direction of x, so that's 1, 2, 3 back this way. 0 units in the direction of y, so we're not going to go left or right any. And then now negative 1 in the direction of z is going to be 1 unit down. I'm going to be landing in the xz plane we haven't traveled any in the direction of y at all and that is going to keep us in what we would consider to be the xz plane so this is our part b ordered triple that is down here and for part c now we're looking at 0 1 3 so the ordered pair ordered triple 0 1 3 goes 0 in the direction of x 1 in the direction of y so this is positive 1 in the direction of y, and then 3 in the direction of z. So from here, we're going to go up to 3 units. Lands us about right here. And we'll label this order triple with 0, 1, 3. And since we didn't have any movement in the direction of x, we stayed in what we call the yz plane. So let's just indicate here that this order triple is in the yz plane the one where we didn't move any in the direction of y is going to stay in the xz plane and then the first order triple that we had where we were positive x positive y positive z this landed us in the first we will call it octant